Okay, I have a little collective haul for you guys. So I have um, Walmart, some good finds that I found at Walmart in Atlanta. And I have um, Macari and Poshmark. So just a little something, but I did want to haul it. Um, I was going to do um, wait till more stuff from Poshmark and Macari come and just do that all together, but no telling when it's going to come. So um, I'm just going to mix it all together. But before I even start, I just want to tell you all a little bit about my Atlanta experience. And I do have Atlanta story time coming soon. Y'all might get it two videos after this one. I'm working on it because I want to get all my details and all my thoughts. I really don't want to get in that space again, but I have to tell my story. I have to tell y'all this. I mean, I wanted to do it right away when I was in Atlanta, but we were having fun and we were doing too much to sit down and um, film a video because everybody that was involved, I wanted them to tell their side of the story as well. But, um, yeah, so it's Atlanta story time coming soon. Uber driver from hell. Just remember that. So I want everyone to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I upload that video. You do not want to miss out on that video because y'all going to see me in a different light and y'all going to see what I experienced. So y'all won't have to. So y'all can probably avoid this. But um, I don't know if y'all can avoid it, but <laughs> with the things to look out in Atlanta. But it wasn't everybody. I mean, that experience was like the worst experience I ever experienced. Okay, that's the story time. But what happened in Walmart in Atlanta is kind of similar, but not as bad. So I guess my sexiness, I guess I just had too much sexiness for Atlanta. Um, the whole time I wore crop tops and like skirts or crop top and jeans. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the people in Atlanta, but I guess they couldn't handle all this juiciness. I don't know what it was. They couldn't handle all this sexiness. But anyhow, I'm shopping in Atlanta. I'm sh I mean, shopping in the Walmart in Atlanta. I'm with my cousin, so... He's in the aisle that I am. We're in the travel section because we're always looking to travel out. So I walk up a little, and it's two ladies. They sit, and I guess they're waiting for the pharmacy. Uh, Middle-aged ladies, probably older than that, sitting there. So as I walk up, I have one um, I have one a suede skirt. Y'all seen it with the studs and stuff. And I have on a neon green crop top. So I'm walking up. As soon as I walk up, I see the one lady. She look at me, and her friend is in her phone. So she tap her friend like nudge her. To look at me. So her friend look over. And I look at both of them. I peep around the corner. I'm like, is there a problem? Because nobody wants. I, I'm that type of person. If I know you're saying something about me, I'm not going to just let you say something. I'm going to say something. I'm, I'm one of them people. I'm not one of them people like, oh my God, they said something about me. And like run away. I was like, is there a problem? So they jumped and the girl looked back at her phone and the other lady turned her head. I was like, because I'll give y'all something to look at. And that's just how I was. It was just like that. They didn't say anything. And that was that. I told my cousin, I was like, why is these people in Atlanta messing with me? Why are they trying me? Like, I'm just living my life. I'm just a fat girl living my life wearing what I want to wear. Like, is that a problem? Why is my sexiness, my fatness is bothering you? Why is your problem? So, um, that was that. We walking around, end up seeing the ladies again. So, I walk past and I just roll my eyes because that's the type of person I am. I can be a bitch. Yeah, that's just who I am. Especially when you're talking to me because I'm such a nice, genuine person. So, when somebody do something to me, I just be the biggest bitch I can be. And that's just how I am. That's just what it is. So, I can be the, I'm the nicest person you'll ever meet until you stare me wrong. You stare me wrong, that's it. That's it. I'm the biggest bitch ever. And I don't care. That goes for family, friends, whoever. You get on my bad side, you treat me wrong, I'm going to treat you. I treat people how I want to be treated. You treat me like shit, you're getting treated like shit. You treat me nice, I'm treating you nice. Because I'm a nice person all around. I'm going to treat you nice regardless. But till you steer me wrong. Put it like that. But anywho, so, then I see them, as we walking out the door, the lady that started it that was looking, that told her friend to look at me, she looked scared like she was by herself like, Oh, God, she's leaving out. She might drag me out. And I just looked at her and just kept walking, like, <laughs> look at all the sex in this while I walk past. Like, I don't know if they were just shocked that about my style or that, um, I don't know what it is. I can't justify people's stupidity. I don't know. But, anywho, let's get into this haul and stay tuned for that story time. That story time is going to be juicy, y'all. I mean, I'm not good at telling stories, but I'm going to try my best. I always say I'm not good, but people love my story time, but I'm not good at it because I circle around and then I jump and I skip but I'm trying to have all my thoughts collected and I'm gonna try not to get too hyped because that that night I was heated all right so um what I was gonna say okay so here we go we're gonna start with Walmart first 
So the first thing I got was the skirt. Shout out to my friend Neek because she spotted the skirt. Um, it is um, Tara, Tara and Sky, and it was only two. To, it was only three dollars. She saw it for three dollars. She's like, Tasha, it's the skirt over there. Those skirts are three dollars. I was like, oh, let me grab one. I mean, it's not really my style, but it's a black skirt. You can't go wrong with a black skirt. You can wear it as a baby suit cover up or anything, or just wear it to a job interview, which I'm doing now, like job interviews. I can wear it to a job interview. Um, come to find out, at the register, it was only um, $2. So you can't beat that $2 skirt. Shoot, I wanted to buy a whole bunch of them. So it's a 1X 1618. That's the size I wear in Tierra and Sky. Well, that's my size anyway, but my size is usually a 2X. But this is a 1X1618. It retails for $9.97. And I will be trying it on for you guys. Um, it's just a... Um, what material is this? This is a... 90% polyester and 10% spandex. So I got a good feel. It got two splits on each side. And this will look cute with like a um, slogan tee. A graphic tee. It will look cute tied or um, tucked in or something like that. Cute. And next thing I got was all these panties. I got a black pair too, but I already wore them. Come and find out, I should have got the 3X because these panties run super duper small. I didn't realize that they were hipsters. I mean, I saw it, but I'm just thinking like high waisted. But they are definitely hipsters, and I do not like no panties rolling. And these panties definitely roll. So this is my normal size. I wear a 9 in panties, a 2X, but I definitely should have got the 3X. So I'm going to still keep them though. And wear them and this is the tan one and then this is the pink one and they were all the reason why I got them because they were on sale for a dollar fifty I was like a dollar fifty yes you definitely know I'm getting these a dollar fifty pink and I got the black ones then I got gray you can't beat that for a dollar fifty but I wish I would have got them all in the 3x and they had the 3x First, I had the 3X in my hand, but I was like, they look so big. And the 2X even look kind of big, but they are hipsters. They come all the way down. Now, back in the day, I used to wear hipsters when I was younger. In my teens, I would wear the hipster panties. But now that I'm getting old, I ain't wearing no hipsters. I need high-waisted panties for all this booty and stuff. Now, these are the 3X. I did get the 3X in these because they didn't have a 2X in these. So, these probably would fit better. This is the 3X. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do fit the 2X. They go up, they stop right below my belly button. But I like my panties to come up over my belly button. <laughs> but these are good for when you're wearing jeans that you don't want your panties to show. Jeans that's hipster, hipster jeans and stuff. And I do wear those, so. And I won't have to, like, tuck my panties down and stuff like that. So these are 3X. That's 10. And I thought they was all cute for $1.50. So I'm going to try to, um... The skirt on for y'all. I won't be trying on the panties, of course. Um, so now we're going to go to, um, what is it? We're going to go to Poshmark. So first off, with Poshmark, this is um, the, I took it out the package, but this is the note she sent. She said, "Thanks so much for your purchase and your patience. I hope you love it." That was sweet. So mind you, these are the sites that I sell from as well. So. Um, links in the description. I added so much stuff to my site. So check out my Macari, um link in the description and Poshmark also. I added so many items on there. So check it out y'all. Um, what else? This is from that note. This is the um, item from Poshmark. So it's a Kiwi bikini. It's the bottoms from Eloquy. Now, let me tell y'all, this has been sold out for so long in Eloquia. I was mad that I missed out on it. But when they had it on the site, I was not paying it. This bathing suit was like $200, I think. If not like $150, it was too high. I'm not paying that much for a swimsuit. I'm sorry. So I was waiting until it went on sale. Um, I missed it when it went on sale. I must have forgot about it. So I searched it. Something said search it. Then I found it on Poshmark. So this on Poshmark, she was selling it for $50, I think. I talked her down to 45 I believe. I had a, yeah, I talked her down to, no, I'm wrong. She was selling it for, I'm trying to think. Yeah, she was selling it for 45, 50. I talked her down to 45, plus tax and ship, shipping and everything. I had a, um, plus tax and shipping and everything. It came to like 
I forgot how much. But anywho, to make a long story short, I had a $40 credit from the um, luggage that I sold on Poshmark. So, um, I talked, yeah, I sold my piece luggage. All the piece luggage is sold. Remember I showed y'all that I sold that. So that was on Poshmark. So if you had stuff that you really want to sell that you think that you can't get rid of, put it on there. I'm sure you would sell it. But anyhow, I want this video to be too long. So I had a $40 credit. So to make a long story short, I only ended up paying $10 for this, like $10 or $11 because of the credit that I had. That's the good thing. When you sell your items, you can use your credit towards um, a purchase or you can just put your money in your um, account. They have your banking information. You can put your money in your account or you can just have it um, credited credit to um, a purchase or something like that. You can let the money sit as long as you want to have it credit. You can let your money build up and just shop on Poshmark or um, Macari or you can have it um, just direct deposit into your account. And it takes like two days. One day my um, payment was there the next day so um i ended up paying ten dollars versus versus paying 150 to 200 dollars for this one too. so sometimes it does pay the late the only thing is that it is a 20 y'all know i used to get a 2x which is an 18 20 or 16 18 but this is a straight 20 i know it's the eloquy some people say it run big but i think those baby suits that i bought from eloquy ran kind of small so i wasn't scared so eloquy Brand spanking new. And I only, my preference, I only buy stuff that's new. Um, a lot of people buy used stuff, of course, because I know the stuff that I put on my site that's used is barely been used. But this is how it looks. And this is the top. And they're both for 20 the top. The top kind of look big, bigger than the bottoms. I was worried about the bottoms being too big, but the top look huge. I don't know why. It just looked big. But y'all know I always say that. Wait till I get it on. Oh, this part goes like this. Let's get tied in knot. It looks similar to that stripe one that I got from Eloquy. The stripe colorful one that I wore in Miami. How it looks. So I thought this was so cute. And this, it comes with the straps. And I definitely need the straps. She don't have the original prices on here. She must have took that off. But, um... It, I know that for sure, for a fact, that it was like a hundred and something to two hundred dollars, and I was not paying it. I don't care how much I like something, I'm not paying it for a swimsuit. Now, if I had the money like that, maybe I will, but you can get I can get like if they're brand new, I can get like three swimsuits for that price. If they're, um, I mean, if they're not, not brand new, if they're not um, on sale, I can get like three. If they're on sale, I probably can get like ten swimsuits for that price. All right, so that's that. I'm going to try on that for y'all. And Macari, let's get her new. They both sent me new. Well, she sent the card. This is the Macari item that. This is for the Macari item. Where it said, thank you so much for your purchase. Have a great day. And she put her name. Her name is Rhonda. So cute. And this is what I ordered. And the reason why I ordered this is because of this top that I got from Ashley Stewart. I don't have bottoms to go to. I used to wear um, red bottoms with it or red bottoms that's funny red bottoms with it or um all black bottoms or um my mickey mouse bottoms they got red and black and white in it but i don't have any polka dot bottoms so i decided to order these once i saw them i was like oh this go on my polka dot bikini top so i got this um this one didn't have the lining i hate when they don't have the lining but i know sometimes it comes out it is brand new and this is the tag and it's from Tempt, Tempt Me. I never heard of this brand. And it is in a size extra, extra large, 2X. It looks like it's cut a little small, but it's definitely really high waisted. And it got rouging on the sides. Got rouging on the sides. But this is how it looks. And it's going to look cute with this. So I'm going to try everything on for y'all. So. Um, except for the underwear. I want to try these on. And that baby was in the skirt. So, that completes my, um, oh, and these were, um, how much were these? These were $10, I think. $10. These were $10, I believe. And I think it was free shipping. And I think I had a credit for these, too. Yep. Um, so, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when all my videos are come out. Share this video so someone else can get an idea of what Walmart, um, Eloquy, um, Poshmark, and McCarvey have to offer. And 
so they can know about my story time that's coming soon. So make sure y'all subscribe, hit the notification bell. You do not want to be out of the loop. Leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all like this video. Until next time, love you guys. Ciao. Buy my fashion dolls. Bye y'all. They fit cute. I do have my um panties under this. Um, they look cute. Because I am gonna wash this. It didn't have the um line and I just wanna wash it just because I wanna be sure. But um I'm gonna wash it before I wear it, but I do have panties on. Um, this is cute. It looks cute. It remind me of um like the fifties or something. So cute. And I might mix some red into it. And they fit good. They fit really good. They're um really high waisted, like I said. Let me fix the back of this. Cause it's just ooh, going in the room. But I like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. That's how it looks. So cute. So cute. So cute. So glad I got them. Two thumbs up. Alright, let me try out one of the other one. Love, 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 love. Bottom fit perfect. If I would have got the 18 in the bottom, they would have been too small. I can tell you that now. They fit perfect. But the top is big in the cups, a little. Just a little bit. And it got that back snap that I hate that comes apart. I just wanted to, to see how it looks without um I don't want to pull this down because it's going to unsnap. It's not unsnapping it. But um, I wanted to see y'all to see how it look without the um, straps. Because I'm going to put the straps on so y'all can see how it look with the straps. Which I'm going to need the straps. Um, I had to put this on like a bra because it kept on unsnapping. So that's the only thing. If it would have been an 18, it would have been too tight in the back. The cups would have fit better. But I cannot wear this without straps. Because, sorry y'all, but I'm not trying to be fresh or nothing but I just want y'all to see it will be spillage definitely but um two thumbs up I'm gonna um put the straps on so y'all can see how it look with the straps I'll be right back okay y'all I think I fixed it My, it's like a totally different bathing suit with the straps I love bathing suits with straps and I tied this in the knot I believe that's how it go because it kept on unraveling perfect I love it so cute this is how the bag look it's one of them that's going like roll because it's like a thin strap which I hate I don't think they should make like thin straps like that. Some people like it, but I don't like nothing going into my rolls like that. So I guess if I put it like that. All right, y'all, let me get the skirt. Where's the skirt at? Because I almost forgot about the skirt. So this is the Walmart skirt. If I wanted to, I, look at it. This came off the strip. I'll, I'll get it together, y'all. That's one thing I hate. Stuff that's detaching and all that. Ooh, I hate it. But overall, the skirt looks cute. It goes all the way down to my ankles. And looking at it in the store, I thought it was a midi. But my friend was like, on you, it would definitely be a um, maxi. And it is a maxi. Because I was like, I don't want it because it's a midi. And I'm like, for $3? Did they come to find out it was $2? Yes. That's how it looks. Because middies do not look right on me at all. But it's definitely a maxi, depending on your height. I'm five foot three. I know a lot of people ask how tall I am. I'm five foot three. On a good day with heels, five four. But, um, yeah. This is everything. <laughs> this, I, this cannot happen when I'm out on vacation or wherever I'm wearing this to. This can't happen. That's just tacky. But I can tell they could have made it better. It put me in the mind of that stripe one, that stripe one, that colorful one. If y'all remember my Eloquy haul, my only Eloquy haul, I think. Was it my only Eloquy haul? Do I have anything else on Eloquy? Yeah, that was my only Eloquy haul, that bathing suit haul. I wore two swimsuits. And I'm looking at it right now, that colorful one. This put me in the mind of it got the bow and everything. But, um, that's it, y'all. Bye.